Do you want to do this video with me? Hey everyone, welcome back to Home Beautifully. Today we are going to be making something <laughs> obviously fabulous. Obviously. What the heck are we making? See this baby? See this beaut? It's like bangs. Do I look good with my wings? Today we are making super cute ribbon garland that you can hang on your fall mantle. You can use it for birthday bunting. The wonderful thing about this little bunting is that I'm just repurposing stuff that I have around the house, so I'm not actually spending any money on it. Bonus, all the better. What do you need to make your ribbon garland? A few things. You're gonna need to hang it on something. I'm using baker's twine that I found at the dollar store. You can use yarn, you can use ribbon, you can use dental floss, fishing line. You pretty much just need any kind of string. You're not gonna end up seeing it very well. I obviously need ribbon for ribbon garland. <laughs> this is way leftover ribbon from our wedding. I'm adding a pop of white to our ribbon garland. This is a cut up t-shirt. I'll show you how to fringe a t-shirt in just a moment. And if you decide not to make ribbon garland, you can wear it and look like an 80s pop star. Bonus! Step one, take your string and cut out the length that you... <laughs> this is the biggest ruler ever. Cut out the length that you want. I want my garland to be 12 inches, so I'm gonna cut a little bit longer so that I can make little loopies, loopies at the end, uh, just to make it easier for me to hang. We're not going for exact science here. It needs to be, for me, about 12 inches, but if you need something more specific, you do you. You be a little more accurate than I am. Now for me, I'm making the loops big enough that I can put like a finger or a toe through so that when I'm making my ribbon loops, when I'm making my ribbon loops, I can anchor it to something. I'm just doing a little like, a little bit of this. You know, one of these bad boy knots. Mm-hmm, nope. And a mm. Mm. step dos. Cut your ribbon. Now, when you cut your ribbon, you're going to want to consider the piece folded over and a little bit less. And I wanted mine to be about this long. That strips your ribbon 11 inches long so that they would hang about five and a half inches long. For the t-shirt, I fringed it kind of like these, very imperfectly, but it turned out great. This was by far one of my favorite DIY projects because I already had the materials. It was super easy to do and it looks amazing on top of the $20 mantle. To make the loops, I just did quick little slip knots and then pulled tight. Definitely leave a comment below if you like this. Make sure that you subscribe so that you always see new tutorials and thank you so much for watching.